So it won't start for you now, right? I had it running. Well, I didn't hear it. <laughs> That's cool. I had a couple of blue ones. I don't think I had a I got red one. The red ones usually are traditionally on the British I telephone got, boots. And I so. got more. There's like four more of them out there. I never had one. Sure, I never, yeah, it's cool. I it's see cool, them. Right? I yeah. see them on a video. I see them okay. in photos. Yeah, yeah. I never seen one in a real life. Hey guys, Pete over here. Well, guess what? More cards. 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, and 109. Guys, just want to remind everybody, when you're sending these cards, please either include your phone number or your email. That way I can contact you. There's quite a few that are coming in and I have no information. So if you win, I'm going to have a hard time finding you unless you watch every single video when we announce this. So please include your info so I can contact you easy. Let's get into today's video. Dirty, rusty. <laughs> so I, I got, I got more of these. There's like, there's like five or six of them that are like this, similar to this. I got another one of those too. So this was in the front of, I think, a uh, machine. This would sit on top. Uh huh. And whoever did it, you know, just peeled it off, and you can even see the marks how they stuck the screwdriver uh -huh, to peel like it off, to it pop off. it. You know, yeah. you don't see many of these like brushed nickel or whatever it is or that's cool I had a couple of blue ones I don't think I had a I got red a... one the red ones usually are traditionally on the British you uh -huh. know uh, telephone got, boots and I so. got more of, there's like four more of them out there that are okay. similar to it you know Killark Killark hmm. never heard of that brand that uh, looks original yeah it's it, I, I had I'll be honest with you that I had two more there years ago. And yeah. There was two. There was, I bought this house. I bought this house for uh, for a rental, and uh, and in the garage I found. Well, I found this one when I was just finished. So was it, it still mounted or just no, sitting just there? No, se okay. It was kind of hidden. It was kind of hidden in there. Okay. And I, but I sold two of them on eBay back mm -hmm. back in the day. There was this there was this group that, and so all I had to do was take stuff to them. They yeah, did yeah. the work, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. And hell, they brought. They brought like, there was two, no, I can't remember if they was exactly like this one. I'm kind of curious this brand, I'm not familiar, I'm going to look it up but just they, out of curiosity like, what it goes for, you know. Yeah, they so. brought like 60 bucks for, really? for, okay. the, yeah, for the pair of them or whatever, I think it was, and you know, it was an eBay thing, and I, like I said, I never did it, I just took it to them and they did all the work. And Right, there and used we, to be these stores that were called Sell It on eBay or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and, that's what it was, it was back in Monmouth, Illinois. But it was a good deal. I had storage in it. So the glasses, look, the glass, uh -huh. it's not like 15 bucks it's sold. But that's the glass itself. Uh -huh. uh, these are with the cages, so it's a little oh, bit, again, the glass, 12 bucks. Because I put that exactly model that it's on a glass, oh, the yeah. 100. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But I'm not seeing one with the, with the whole thing. With the whole thing. Oh, look at these. Look at these blue and red ones here's industrial with the cage uh -huh. those i those i get here quite often Dude. they tend to bring decent money <laughs> i mean what are you thinking what do you want to get out of I, this stuff i don't i just you know to be honest with you the 45s i'm gonna pass oh okay. i just don't do for some reason good with 45s i got a couple hundred in there they're just sitting and you know oh, okay long, just, long just, play right here these, lps i've no had problem. these things for uh for a long time and, and uh, <laughs> yeah I didn't know you know to be honest with you out of everything here I'm most excited about this dirty telephone sign people well, like these for display you I've know got, I've got they'll build boxes at them and they'll put light behind it and it will you know glow so this is kind of let cool me piece. run this out there okay and I'll, and I'll bring in the other ones just this oh different <laughs> ah, that's pretty cool too yeah 
Now, here's my other, there was the other one of those. Okay. Shoot me a number. What are you thinking? Oh, what do you want to get out of it? So I, I put the lead in the mix and make me an offer. Hundred bucks. All right. I'll take it. Deal? Yeah, for all. Awesome. All right, cool. Yeah, this, if this had this cage, yeah. those are very popular. People like him with the, you know, kind of really like industrial look, you know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. but it will still sell. Yeah, that, months, them are, you know, it, it was, so. yeah, they're. All right, I do need your ID so I can write you up. All right. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, okay? Yep. Thank you. All Appreciate right. you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. And if you, you know, if you got some more cool, interesting stuff, definitely bring it in. I always like, you know, I stuff know. like this. I thought that was neat. I, I really did. I thought Although the like antique and vintage stuff right now, it's kind of, uh, you know, at the moment, but if it's cool stuff, yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks again, Roger. All right. Thanks Appreciate it. All right. Take care. You're welcome. So I thought these were extremely cool when the guy brought them in. And first impression was when I saw them, oh, they came off of the British telephone boot, you know, the vintage red boots that they have on the streets. But after doing a little bit more research, it turns out actually they were used on American telephone boots, probably 60s and 70s era. Watch out, she's gonna jump. <laughs> I picked up three of them that have a big font like this, capital, and then one is uh, small letters, but very, very cool. If you Put this in a cool frame maybe with the light behind this would be awesome display like for a man cave love it yeah. what's up buddy what can i do for you it's too much. It's junk saw junk saw let me see i had it running in the parking lot now i can't get it running again i don't know if it's not enough fuel in it so it won't start for you now right i had Which it is... running well i didn't hear it <laughs> uh what are you looking to get out of it Help you. I'm putting it towards a new model. So. Anything helps with them things. Freaking twelve hundred bucks. Well, you know, yeah, when they're new, you know, uh, I ninety percent of the time, what happens with these, either they overheat, and then there is an issue with them that they don't want to start again, or it's just a bad carburetor and needs to be replaced, yeah. you know, and it's all eaten up. So. Um, for parts, I don't know, 75 bucks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Hey, it helps. So, and, and then my guy, if, if he's got to look at it and put a carp for 25, charges me 50, then I got another 75 in it, and then I'm 150. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of money to be made, you know, after that. So, mm -hmm. um, so if you're okay with that, I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. All right, let me have your idea. I'll write you up. I got a temporary. He actually saw you on a parking lot when he pulled in here and he told yeah. me, tell him not to buy it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, you know. All right, 20, 40, 60, 75, okay? Thank you, sir. Thanks, man, appreciate yeah. it. You too. Yeah. Hey guys, look at this. Look at this. Can you believe this, that this is actually electric? This is a little chopper. Uh, that comes with a pretty powerful battery and I can go like 30 miles an hour on this thing probably up to 60 miles distance pretty damn crazy love it though what is that? Uh, it's like a CB collectible but it I have figurines for it so it's a calendar that you can update kind of as you oh, go. Oh, I see. So, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Kind of interesting. Something different. Yeah. Little tiles so you can adjust the, uh, the you know, for each month. I can't, I can't say I ever had anything like that. So you can pretty much set different stuff on top yeah. and so like there's an display like yeah. that. That's pretty yeah. cool. Huh. Yeah. Or is that a, like an electric guitar? That's that is, is electric uh, guitar. Kind of bizarre. DG20. <laughs> Who makes this Casio, huh? Yeah. What, early 90s? What year is that? That might be even earlier. That might be 80s. Or well, maybe 90s. I was oh. thinking early 90s, like. Yeah, so I put batteries in it so you can turn it does on. It, and... Does it run? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The strings are made out of, what is this, like plastic? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know too much about it. So I'm a reseller myself, but uh, mainly men's clothing, or oh, yeah. basically all men's clothing. So kind of full time on eBay, but have a lot of listings and. Um, to be honest with you, I never had one. Sure, I've never, yeah, it's cool. I it's seen cool, them, right? I yeah. seen them on a video. I seen them okay. in photos. Yeah, yeah. I never seen one in a real life. And then if you see on the side, you can kind of adjust, or uh, even by your hand, by your other hand, like on the this. Yeah, you can. Oh, it's got a, like almost different tones, rhythms, so it, uh, it will play stuff for you, like a drum beat or something. Uh, I, well, yeah. I guess try out the buttons. I know it definitely changes kind of the sound. Well, I hit rock, I hit country, okay. select. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Trumpet. All right. Oh, there you go. Yeah, a little. <laughs> then it's stuck. All right, let's try something else. A... Harp. Yeah. <laughs> That's bizarre. Mix it up, yeah. That's pretty cool. Then you got a beta mix. Does it run? Do you yes. Know? Yeah, I have a tape uh, in my car. I can grab if you want to test it out. Okay. Uh, the only thing is this should close, but it's stuck in the open position. Ah. So I think it's a little plastic piece is broken. But um... what's that? Nothing's broken. Oh, see you... this black button yeah. here? You press it in. So I think it's just yeah I. Oh, but like it doesn't, little, yeah, doesn't, it doesn't hold. Yeah, got yeah. you, got you, got you. Okay. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Something broke inside that was catching onto the... Yeah, part. I think it's just a little plastic, you know. Okay. Little. Yeah, this was, a, this was a beast back in the day. Oh, this sure. Was one of the better units, actually, so nice. What are you looking to get out of this stuff? So, I kind of comped it. Um, this is around 400 plus. Um, this is around 200 plus, so okay. no watch your videos. You see more than fair, looking about half. Um, okay. So I have no problem. I'll give you like a hundred bucks for this beta, yep. especially when you have a remote control with it too. Uh, I do have one right now, very similar for sale in the shop, but I can always put one online. This, I will look it up. I, yeah, it's, of course. I'm not familiar with it. I'm yeah, kind of no, curious yeah. actually. It too often. <laughs> you said that they're going for about 400 bucks? Yeah. Okay, let's see. 410, 400 took a best hour. Oh, somebody had an original cover asking 500. They took an offer, 395, 428. Yeah, so about 400 bucks. Steady. Yeah. It seemed like a fair amount were from Japan too, so I know. Yeah. Probably... So you cool with uh, half of it then? 200 yeah. bucks? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's a very cool, uh, cool piece. Now the the Snoopy thing with the calendar. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just at a rummage sale on Friday, so it's it was still kind of in my car. Okay. Um, but what are you thinking on that? So I did comp, or I see it saw a few comps as well around um, like up to two hundred. So. Okay. There so is that surprises one broken me actually. piece, but I can show you kind of. Are you local here? I'm in Milwaukee actually, which. Mm, a couple yeah. hours. Uh, well, 45. I was going, you know, shopping around the thrift store, so kind of made a day of it. But I do have a fair amount more stuff. Um, so right now I'm kind of moving out of the where my warehouse, and so have about five thousand clothing items now, but plenty of kind of other stuff. Of Man, you're dealing with the stuff that I don't want to deal for sure. Like the, the clothing is just not my cup of tea. But I if you enough, know what you're I, doing. Yeah, I got a know? system down, so you yeah. can find a lot of it and it's, uh, but yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the only advantage I think of dealing with clothing, it does not have, take a whole lot of room. Yeah. It's easy to store, easy to ship, right? Definitely, Never yeah. breaks. Find a lot of it out, out <laughs> and, of the thrift stores. And you find yeah. a lot of it out. So I'm not seeing anything sold. I'm seeing like, for example, this one Okay. for 80 bucks. This one seems like it's complete. Somebody's asking 249. But when so I went no. to solds, nothing nothing showed up except one little guy. Oh no, there's one here. Okay, yeah, I'm not My bad. sure. My bad. Okay, yeah. I mean, what are you thinking on that one? <sighs> and it, so it does have a broken piece too, to just show you. So that's one, oh, okay. otherwise. One, um, leg, one leg broke off on this I'm guy. pretty sure everything's good. Like I said, I kind of got it at a garage sale, but um, I know the lady was kind of counting these out and kind of had these all up. Okay. Um, 
I mean, 80 bucks, if that's fair to you. So on that one, I'm gonna I'm gonna counter you. I don't want to be in it more than like 50 bucks. So I don't know what you got in it, but that would be kind of tops. Because what, what's gonna happen is, if I don't sell it here, I will end up putting online, and this will affect a little bit, yeah. you know, the price. So it's your call. I don't want to. Yeah, I can idea. do 50. Yeah, that's fine. Wanna do that. Yeah. All right, we got a deal. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Awesome. My ID. Yeah. Yes, please. So you guys know this. I love to call Ruby a wet chicken. Because every time she takes a shower in her little cup of water, she smells like a wet chicken. But anyway, uh, I want to talk about her a little bit because lately she's been, she's been very loud here in the shop, interrupting all the time, squawking very, very loud. And when she starts going, sometimes it's like nonstop for 10 minutes, you know, and we can't control her. I have to take her, put her in the back. She just wants attention. I think she wants not only attention from us to play with her, but she wants she wants to stay busy. They're active birds, and I think she wants more toys that she can play with. Now, we used to give her like plush toys, small plush toys, and they were fine for a while till she decided that she wants to make love to these plush toys, literally, like have fun with them. So we had to take them away, and since then, She's been pretty overall upset, so I want to get a little bit creative here and see if any of you guys, you sent all the time some snacks for Honey and Ruby, but instead of maybe snacks, if you guys want to send like a toy, something made out of wood, homemade, that she can shred and play with it so we can hang inside the cage and she can have some fun with it. She's 47 years old now, she's a very healthy bird, but she's kind of driving us nuts and she needs, I think, a little bit more toys to play and uh, so she keeps occupied. And of course I'm getting a phone call. Ow! A state fine? This? Uh, from my dad. That's this your dad's? One, okay. Yeah, this is from my dad. <clears throat> so this is, this is late, late 1800s, I think. Um, right, 1880s, right? I was thinking. The, the sheet is a little rough, obviously, here. You kind of expect it to right. be like that because the whole sheet is made out of the leather and then you got two metal pieces holding it. Right. But um, it does have a British crown on it. I think it's, you know, UK, a Mark WD. Now, this model is, it's like 27E89. They had quite a few different models. Overall, the blade is in pretty nice condition, and I don't think anybody ever really tried to clean that, so mm. that's good. I mean, yeah. I'm getting the residue right. of it, it comes off, but still, it wasn't polished or anything. Yeah, been... But there's many of them out there available. For example, like I pulled this one up, right? Sure. Um, nothing sold. There's a couple that people are asking, like 60, 75, 80. This one is with the sheet. Oh, it is. Yeah, so they oh, okay. see it's that's covered, the same sheet. Yeah. And actually, this one is fully, Similar yeah, f too. and fully intact. The sheet is kind of yeah. still decent. Gotcha. I'll offer you like 45 bucks. 45. I think because you have overall both right. of them together, and maybe, maybe I can get 100. At least I will list it for 100. Right. Okay. So something to think about, yeah, you know. Let me, let me think about it for yeah. a sec. Yeah, no Just problem. Got this stuff, I don't know if Ryan's gonna throw me an offer, or you could fit, throw me an offer. We were already talking about a bunch of Sega stuff. Yeah. So if you already started yeah. talking with him, I'll, I'll let I'll you wait finish with him. It. Yeah. So sounds cool. good. Cool. And then I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. Think about it, and let me put that back in. So <laughs> this is actually. So it was banned by Geneva That's what Convention Ryan was telling me, because of the three blades. Up, right? This became, you know, and then I don't know how many years it was before they actually decided and put a kibosh on it, but there's quite a few of them out there, you know. Right. Um, huh. The I most think. desirable ones are the, actually the trench knives. The trench knives. So similar blade. It's usually only about 12 inches long. That's what I was finding. But it has the research. knuckles. Yeah, the you know, brass knuckles. Yeah. Brass knuckles on it. Those, and those big, big money. Yeah. You know, I only had a couple of those here, like legit ones. Because yeah, there's a lot of fakes out yeah. there. 
but uh, they can go for some yeah. mucho, mucho dollars. So yeah, I can only imagine what those have been. Yeah. Through. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> Guys, of course, before we end uh, today's video, we have the giveaway. I have the Grateful, uh, Grateful Dead VIP pass ticket from 1996 that we're gonna give away. So Grateful Dead right there. We're gonna hit continue. It's gonna generate all the comments and pick a winner. And the winner is Swillbop. Swillbop, is that correct? You are the lucky winner. All right, Swill Bop. I don't know your real name, but you are the lucky winner of this Grateful Dead VIP ticket. Below in description, you will find my email. Please send me an email so I can verify your information. And this little puppy will be on your way. Th guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.